today we have a special class and this class is going to be about boleos and gancho. This class is sponsored by Andrea Skoglan. Thank you very much. Now let's go and see the class of today. So we will start with the steps of the leaders. We are doing a side step to the left. We change the weight, we open again to the left. When we are leading a back watch for her, we open to another side step with the right. And in this moment when we are landing, we will start to move our chest around to lead the first bolero. While we are bending, we start to lead the bolero. Now, when she's coming around, I will switch my leg to my left and I will send my free legs forward to wait for her free leg to prepare the gancho. When I feel the contact of the knees, I start to lift a little bit my leg while I'm holding the embrace. After that, I will use my change of weight to my right to push her free leg around and use that motion to go into a turn. Cross and sacada with the right. While she's doing her pivot, I will cross back and I will do another sacada with my right and then we go again into another back ocho left and now when she's stepping back I will go with my right leg down to receive the connection of the knee while I'm holding towards me to do the next gancho and then when she's moving the free leg I will use that power to go around one, two, three, four, five Rocher. here I will leave the pivot while I'm waiting for the stop moment. As a follower, I'm doing side step to my right. I enter into a backward ocho. One, second backward ocho. And in this moment, I'm going to do a bolio with my left leg. A low bolio behind me. But when I'm coming back, I will not collect my knees to make a normal front ocho. I will expand my knees so I have space to feel Pompey's leg in between my legs. Here I will do the gancho. I will release the gancho and I will go into a turn, stepping back, side front. I will make a small peel to do another side step while he's doing the sacada. And I will enter one more time in the back ocho, the second back ocho, and in this back ocho I will feel the gancho that he's leading with my left leg. I will lift up my left leg. I will make a pivot over my right leg and then I will step and I will end with my weight in the middle. In the moment when Papi is leading me, I will make a front puncture and we will end in the stop. Okay, leader, we will start with the sequence. We are doing a side step, we are leading a back ocho and after here, when we are right to the next back ocho, I would like that you are focusing on the flexion on your standing leg, which is your right. While you are bending, use the power of your hips and your center to push her free leg around. So now, change your weight to the left. And when you're changing your weight to the left, use this transition, this change of weight, to bring her free leg around. While she's bringing the free leg around, project your free legs forward. Wait for the contact. This is important. When you're waiting for the contact, you will understand in which moment you can lift your leg. Wait for the contact. Hold the embrace a bit more tight. Be more strong in the standing leg and now lift your knee up. Cool. This is a difficult position, but it's important that the hip is back and the center is forward. Now change your weight, push your free leg, and then you can continue with the normal turn and the sacada. I would like to show you a moment in the gun show what I would like you to wear with your partner if you have a partner at home, or you use a wall or a chair or something else that you can hold on to. But the idea of what I want to show in the gancho is that when me and Juan B is in this position, we have a contact in the leg that is hugging, but we also in the upper part has a, a pushing, a contact that is going towards each other. Because otherwise this would be very difficult if you try to stay only in yourself 
and you try to hold your own bones. So what we are doing is that we have the intention in the arms and the center and hands towards each other, and then we are hugging with the legs. And this makes it easy for us to stay in this position. So as a follower, I will now explain the low wheel into the garniture and how we're going out of that. So we are entering the side step, back up shot, and in the second back up shot, I will feel the lead for the wheel. And here it's important for me that I already have my chest to Kwambi and the next lead that is coming, it's not going to modify the upper part, it's going to modify the lower part. So when I feel this small intention inside and going around, I will bend my knees forward and I will start to send my foot back. And I will continue to push that leg back and in the end it's coming the pivot to break the lower wheel. Now what I'm feeling this moment to make me feel that it's not a normal front archer is that Kwambi is not compressing me and leading me into the next direction that is going there. What I feel from here is a small expansion out and that will I apply into my knees to expand a little bit my knees and then I feel that the next direction is going there. So I will expand my knees and I will go to Kwambi with my free leg and here I will say ah I have contact with his leg. In that moment I understand, ah, it will probably happen a gancho. And then I feel that he's lifting his leg and here we have the hugging moment that I was explaining before. Now, how to go out of the gancho, I would like you to release the free leg down together with Juan's change of weight. And then I would like you to work again, just the free leg that is going around your base leg. And in the end is coming the pivot to enter into the turn. So don't try to turn in the upper part first and then the hand is the leg. Which is going to be like this. What is going to be like this. Then I start to turn and in the end is coming the leg. I will show you the right way that is releasing the leg. Let the leg go first as far as you can. Then it's coming the pivot and then I can do the turn. So here, while she's going into the turn, we have to cross leaders with the left leg forward to create a pivot towards that leg and after that we can go into a scalp. So we were explaining or she was explaining this moment here about how she's turning the free leg while I'm changing my weight here. Then in the moment when she's stepping I have to pivot my standing leg a little bit to create a cross while she's stepping back. Now let her go around side and when she goes into the front step this is the moment to release the free leg which is your right leg to pivot and go into the side scalp step. While she's changing her weight, cross back, cross back, and now go to another saccade towards her left. And continue with a side step to lead up back ocho. Side, ocho. So now is coming the moment of the gancho. This gancho is, is really, really it's nice gancho. gancho. It's the second gancho. So as a leader, we have to apply the connection, to bring the connection towards me. So the intention of the lead is coming through my embrace towards my body while I'm bending and expanding my knees. So we have the first ocho here, side, ocho, and when she's stepping back, I have to decide, okay, what I'm going to do. I will send my right leg while I'm bending forward in the middle of her legs, right? So now, while she's landing, I will also expand my legs and my embrace will come towards me. Boom. Okay? It's not that I'm going to do like this. This is I'm leading with the, with the arms. I want to pull a little bit towards me, but the, the real lead is coming from the expansion of my legs. And here, use this bouncing to go up and walk five steps. One, two, three, four, five, to project the leg. So what I'm doing after this back portrait, one, two, it's first of all to land going down in my back portrait. This I will do in any back portrait. But it's even more important now when I have to do the gancho after. So I will go down, I will feel a direction that is too humpy, that means that I cannot take my leg in this direction. I will feel the direction to Kwambi and to answer that lead that Kwambi was speaking about and to feel that lead that Kwambi was speaking about pulling to him I cannot release my body and let my body go to him I need to hold myself over my standing leg it's my right leg uh, 
and I need to pull in the opposite. So I will expand my body to that direction a little bit to feel that, okay, my leg is going to be the one that is going to pump me. I think that is really important because I can really feel that your standing leg and your upper body is a fixed point which is helping me to move your free leg into a gancho. So think that from the standing leg up until all my chest, all my embrace, all this is fixed in one place. So whenever Quampi touch me and pull me in that direction, I will stay. Huh? And what is going in that direction is my free leg. I will explain a little bit later how to move my free leg in that direction. So after I enter into the gancho, how to go out, what I'm doing is pushing down my right leg to stretch it out. And that will automatically help my left leg to go out from the gancho. So I'm using my right leg to lift up. And here I'm going with my left knee to my chest. And I let Kwame turn. So I don't, uh, I don't help him to turn myself around, I will show you. I'm not the one turning. I'm doing this. Gancho, lift. I hold it. And he's the one turning me around. But I don't modify anything. I'm holding myself. I'm not releasing when he pushes me. I don't fall. I hold myself as a, we can say, as a block. And I let him lead me around. This is an exercise that I want you followers to work alone. It's an exercise for your volume and for your gancho. We will start over our right leg and we will have our left leg to the side. And we will start just with the low volume. And we will start as I was explaining in the class that the knees are going forward first. And after that I will start to move my free leg around my legs. And as you can see, I'm not turning my hips, I'm not turning my chest, I'm not turning my waist. I just bend the knees and move my free leg behind me. Now, to go back from this, when I'm doing the gancho, you will see that I start to separate my knees a little bit. I will uh, press it down and make them expand away from each other and then I will move it forward again. So I have this feeling, one, instead of the normal ocho that is this. After you have felt the pushing down and the expansion in the knees, you start to move the leg forward, you can see that I still have my knee turned in. Huh? You can see that the leg is turned in the whole time until I arrive here, when the knee is in front of me. In this moment, try to keep your knee in the same spot and then try to just turn out the leg to create the gancho. And just practice, turn in, turn out, turn in, turn out. But you see that the knee and the leg is still in front of me. I don't move it to the side or out or in. After you practice out in, you can continue back again into the voleo or into the back ocho and you release from the exercise. So for the second gancho, we arrive into the back ocho and I have the lead for the gancho. And here it's the same principle that I have to turn in my leg but without moving the hip or the knee in space. I need to turn it in and then I need to bend. So the foot is lifting up, but I'm not moving so much the knee to the side. So we go back into the back ocho, turn in the leg and lift up the foot. This is the position of the gancho. Thank you very much for watching us. It was a pleasure to be in again with all of you. We hope that you like the video. And if you like the video, don't forget to subscribe, press the like button and activate the notification because then you will know when the new video is out. If you have any questions, you are very welcome to send us the questions and we will answer you. I had some questions during the last week and it was really, really nice to get the question and also to answer them. So please use us. Remember that this video is sponsored by Enter School and thank you very much for the support. We really, really, really like it and thank you everyone for all your support. Remember also that this Saturday we have Tango Fica Cafe online at 4 o'clock and it's not a normal Saturday, it's a very special Saturday because we have two guests, that is two women, women yeah. uh, two young women that is from ex DNA. Yes, Dulce Lauria and Elise Barbo. We are so nice that they will join us and don't miss it. Until now, this was everything for today. Thank you very much for watching us. We hope to see you soon. Um, 
to the side or out or in I keep it and I go out in out in sorry out in out in <laughs> there is two women women yeah uh, two young women that is from ex DNA yeah Dulce Lauria and Elise uh, Barro Yes, Dulce Lauria and El Elis Bal <laughs> Balboa. <laughs> Elis Balboa. Eh, and, Rocky. and Rocky Balboa. Eh, yes, Dulce Lauria and Elis Balboa. Really, really nice things.